Don't but tell uh, Graham Dot that you said that. It's his pet hate, that, isn't it? That uh, players have cups of tea. Well, that was a terrible kick, by the way, before I say any more. Yeah, that, that nearly jumped off the table, I think, that um, that red. The, the noise it made was Graham Dot in his book, which I think is an excellent book, but it's one part of it that uh, did make me laugh. It doesn't like commentators that say that. Oh, dear. Have he trouble. drink his tea. Apparently, most people do. I would always have a cup of tea. I, I agree with you. But Gra Graham doesn't drink tea and it was one of his his uh, little moans and groans which is uh, an interesting thing to pick out really isn't it do me a favor Neil don't don't tell Graham will you I will try not to force of habit isn't it well it is and uh, I say most people would do that I mean there's a couple of things you do you might sit and have a, a couple at the, the mid-session or you'd Maybe find a practice table now. We hadn't playing left-handed. I haven't seen a play left-handed shots. We didn't really get to see that one either, but um, it stayed on the table. Well, she's obviously a decent left-handed player, but if you're going to play them, you've got to get them, I think. He's gone slightly wrong. He, he was awkwardly placed on the, the blue in the first place. It's funny. He's got a gap, hasn't he, there? There is a little gap. He can get through to the red. Would you believe that? For the world that it had gone wrong. Let's have a look. Well, the pink spot there doesn't look like it, does it? No other spot available, so referee putting it in line with the black spot there. Just checking on, on uh, a couple of different sides. Delicate job for our officials. Yes, this is uh, Zhu Jin, the referee. Not seen too much of official before well, that was a uh, not the best safety shot well, he's been a, a bit fortunate there Xu Yin Hui Neil mentioned uh, Graham Dot he faces the winner of the Jimmy Robertson Zhu Yu Long match which is currently taking place another one of the wild card matches and Graham will play the winner Winner of this wild card match will play Neil Robertson. That was a good safety. That too thin. A 
There's no question Rianne's back in this. She could have easily won the first frame as we mentioned before. But by winning that fourth frame, Neil, and, and making such a good break, it's certainly given her some confidence. Yes, especially if she could also win the next frame, it would be the one I think that would get her close because, of course, the 4 1 advantage is nearly over the line, but 3 2 certainly wouldn't feel like that, especially from 3 0 up. That was a very well weighted safety shot that she played. How about that? It's good queuing. If you get to the red, which I think is a little unfortunate for Rianne, but still had to be knocked in, and he's finished virtually where he was from the previous shot. It wouldn't be taken on a colour here, I don't suppose. Trying to tuck in behind the green. Well, if he's played that, that is a really good shot. I mean, it may seem easy what he did there, but to just to judge the pace of it is not straightforward. And in a spot of bother now. That works out well, though. Ooh, I thought that was in for a moment from Zhu. Wasn't far away. Just had an anxious look to see if he'd covered that red. There goes the old mobile phone. It's got to be another pet hate of the players. First one I've heard, actually, in this tournament. Won't be the last. It's like the first cuckoo of spring, isn't it? The first mobile phone of the tournament. One way of putting it, Neil. Good shot from Rianne there. Great shot, wasn't it? Really nicely cued. She's just got enough of an angle here to knock this in. I thought it was just going to come almost parallel with the, the green at first, but she's at long range for her next shot as well. Yeah, well played. A good view of her taking that shot. You would have noticed as Neil was referring to her cue action. She referred to being very similar to Graham Miles. Yeah, very left-eyed. The important thing is a cue goes through in a straight line. I know that sounds like an obvious statement, but it's not an easy thing to always be able to do. You, anyone that plays the game will know that they have spells hitting across the ball, but you know, she's got a nice way of hitting it. Awkward queuing here, though. Going to get anything on the cue ball. That was a good recovery because uh, she was a bit careless, wasn't she, before having to bridge. There's another interesting view of it, how much she's left eye dominant on the shot. She's probably not even using her right eye at all to sight, not just for, just for obviously for the perspective of the shot, because you're much better off with two eyes than one, but to play this game or in anything, but it's just one of those situations where the left eye is doing all the sighting.
Oh, another left-handed shot. The last one she missed. Oh, that's, uh, I can't think of many players that would have played that left-handed. That uh, are initially right-handed players, of course. A few left-handed players might have played left-handed, I suppose. <laughs> but uh, you know, she must be good. Another one now. This is this time of plant. We're getting all the full range of shots, aren't we? Well, this would be a difficult shot if she was playing it with a correct hand. Oh, really good. Deserved a good kiss. Not going to be easy to get into the bunch of four reds, though, here. Nothing that Zhu can do. No, no, he's looking and slightly less confident than he did about half an hour ago. He's been slightly rocked by a bit of an onslaught. And all of a sudden, Rihanna has turned into a left-handed player. The last three have been played left-handed. What's going on? She missed a, an easy one with her left hand, although we didn't see the shot as they panned away from it earlier on in this frame. But her confidence has not suffered because of that. As Neil says, the last three have been left-handed, and uh, now she's using the rest. Which makes us now know why perhaps she plays left-handed, because she's missed that one, although you can never say it was an easy rest shot. She's obviously very talented. Well, she's got a 30-point lead here. Sure that she'd love to have a colour safe, but hadn't had the chance to do that. But uh, she's still very much uh, favourite to win the frame with that advantage. Although if Zhu could get him one of his trademark long pots, and it could all change. It's trademark long pots in this game, anyway. He's sunk in quite a few. This is an opportunity. No. And Rianne Evans has been given a glorious opportunity. An excellent chance. Oh, no, not that. Must have been a lapse in concentration is all, all I can think of there. Missing that comfortable red to the left middle. That's the problem, isn't it, Neil? When, if you miss a ball such as that, and I completely agree with you, it must have been a lapse of concentration. There's nothing you can do, whereas in other individual sports, such as in tennis, you play the next point. You, you have no control now. You have to sit down and suffer whilst your other players at the table. Wow. I think the mental side of this game is really tough at times. Zhu is still jump, jumping and running around the table here. Probably cannot believe he's back at the table with a, a great chance to win the frame. No, because it was a mistake that he made, which in a roundabout way has given him this chance. I think that jumped, and he's gesticulating a, a, the same. It looked to me as if that cube just jumped in the air slightly. Excellent. Good recovery from getting himself into a bit of problems from the kick on the black. Mentioned about his long potting, you have as well. It 
but quite a good uh, percentage strike rate, I think, of, of making them. Here it is again. Clean as a whistle. Not so clean that time. I think he's worried because obviously when the yellow goes back on its spot, then that red is not so much tied up, but it's, there's less room to get behind it, the one in bulk or on bulk line. So uh, maybe his concentration was divided there between pot and position. That's more like it, having seen Ryan Evans miss that previous red to the left middle, knocking that one in. And she got a nice kiss off the black as well, didn't she? Just needs that cue ball to roll a bit. That's uh, 21 points the difference then. Score should be at 52. There we go. Yeah, she needs to make sure she's on a relatively high colour because getting onto the yellow to win the frame from here wouldn't be easy. So blue, pink or black is what she wants to be on. And she's made sure of that. That was excellent. Well, she's a good rest player then, having missed one earlier on. You, I you do get a bit suspicious, as I say, when people play with their wrong hand all the time. There's the reason. I remember Dennis Taylor was... a. Uh, Pretty awful rest player, that's why he played left-handed. No need for any heroics there, it was just a black she needed. Shoe now needs a snooker. 29 the difference, 27 on. Yeah, he'd like, she'd like to just pop the next ball after that, but as you say, mathematically, snooker required. And getting back to 3-2, it brings her right back into the match, Tim. She was slow to, to settle here. Which is completely understandable. This is a massive match for Rian. Obviously, it's for the wild card as well in Zhu, but all the attention has been on Rian Evans, and understandably, it's taken a while for her to settle down. But this frame is not over yet. I need the stretch of the imagination, but in fact, she's got a spot of bother here. Yeah, a little swerve. She should be all right on this, though, you'd hope. But as Neil says, if she wins this frame, we have a real match on our hands. And she's missed the yellow. I'm not quite sure how he managed that. It seemed harder to, to miss it than hit it. Well, that was an added bonus for Ian Evans. So she leads by... 33 points, 27 on, two snookers now needed. Might have a chance here though. Yeah, not, not quite from there. Not uh, going to be too easy to get a snooker from where the balls have finished up. Left a little window, I think, through the middle and get to it. She can. It's a good shot from Rianne. Even if it is a snooker, it wouldn't be a difficult one to hit. She just 
can put a bit of right hand side, little bend around the pink. Any problem here if it was a snooker is Rianne would have to make sure she couldn't go in off. She might be able to get to it actually, and wouldn't be a million miles away from getting the pot. As long as she didn't go the other side of the green, the in off would have been on then. At the moment, Xu Ying Wei is chasing the frame, trailing by enough points. He would have just covered the green there. It's easy to hit the green though. Actually, you could just get to it. Things should we in action later today front of his home fans. He'll face uh, Jamie Burnett, who's played well in China before, actually. Yeah, I mean, everything would point to Ding winning that match, but his record in Chinese events in the last two or three seasons is, is, is for someone of his ability, I would say, woeful. He's played some matches in China where he's just not played at anything like his best. He's lost to wild cards, all kinds of players have beaten him, and yet we know he's an absolutely world-class player, so he finds the pressure of playing front of his home fans sometimes too much another year though maybe he'll have learned from everything that's gone before and he'll be a force he'd have to be one of the favorites but it's in the back of anybody's mind who would be thinking about backing him that you know, he just that has not been playing well for so long in tournaments in China well we'll see it's a new day Eighty thousand going to the winner of the Wuxi. Very good prize. Now the prize money has gone up, and eighty thousand pounds is uh, well worth winning. And generally speaking, there was a raising up of all the the prize money for the forthcoming season, of which we're at a very early stage. Seven thousand points to the winner of this event. Five thousand six hundred to the runner-up. Of course, we'll see as the green goes in. That's not quite gone right for Zhu. He still needs a couple of snookers here. Oof. That's nearly your favourite shot, Neil. A cocked hat. You love that, don't you? Well, I don't know about that. It is a shot in the game, but uh, Ryan tried there. Well, wouldn't have been a fluke if it had gone in, put it that way. She's got to be careful, Rianne. I mean, she's got the, the bonus that she did give a four point foul away. Another one is still required, and a miss cannot be called. Well done. Sometimes they can roll off. Rianne Evans just one pot away from securing this frame. Double kiss again. But she'd be quite happy for Zhu to pot the brown. It'd be one less ball off the table. And Zhu decides to keep it on. She can totally understand as he still needs two snookers here. No, 
Now this will pot. Well played, Rianne Evans. That's surely the frame now. 32 points the difference. Matt Blue might be going in as well. That's definitely the frame now. Well, this is getting pretty interesting out here now. She was trailing 3 0, don't forget, Rianne Evans. She's won the last two frames. Zhu has something to think about. It's the first of five to face Neil Robinson, and you can tell by his expression, he's not happy. Rianne Evans has got him in a spot of bother. He still leads Zhu Yinghui by three frames to two, but Rianne Evans has taken the last two frames here.